Fraser's room. So I just arrived in Rome. There's lots of really cool things to see here. So I thought that I'd take you guys around with me on my way around Rome and do another little vlog. So um, it is the morning at the moment. We just woke up. I'm all ready for the day and we're about to go downstairs and get some breakfast. One thing that I've noticed about Europe is that their lifts are tiny and we're a family of four and we're really squashed in here at the moment. So I'm gonna have to get used to this. So we're at breakfast now. I just have some plain and simple butter on toast and then obviously James has his Nutella on his toast like he always has and I'm with my hot chocolate even though it's like 34. That's another thing about Rome, it is so, so hot here. It's gonna be 34 degrees every single day we're here, so pray for us. <laughs> Guys, did I mention that it's gonna be hot today? I am dying of heat right now, like it's so hot now. Um, I think I'm gonna need like a lot of gelatos today and I think it's like it's early in the morning but it's already over like 30 degrees. I'm gonna melt. So now we are at the Spanish Steps, a very popular tourist attraction. When you go up the steps, it leads you to the Piazza di Spagna. Um, and there's also the, is it the Trinity Church, I think? Um, so yeah, the steps look really pretty, but it's also a really good place to cool off when we start to get a bit hot from all this walking around. And there's also um, a fountain here. And I'm not gonna lie, it's looking really tempting to jump into right now because I'm already so hot. So this is the Trevi Fountain, probably one of the most famous um, fountains in the entire world. Um, it is so pretty, I never expected it to look like this. The water looks so clear. I wish we could have a swim in it, but we can't. <laughs> but um, a lot of people come here to um, throw a coin over their head and make a wish, so I have a coin here and that's what I'm gonna go do. they do that. How cool would that be to know how to do that? I, I wish I could draw like that. It's so crowded around here. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get through this. Um, it's really hot here at the moment and it's honestly too hard to walk around and enjoy all the sights because we're just dying of heat. So I think what we're going to do is get on one of the hop on hop off tours and um, maybe that might be a bit easier to go see the sights and stuff so we don't die of heat walking around. So hopefully we'll pass a lot of gelato shops on the way too. I was Guys, as you probably could have guessed, this is the Colosseum and it is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's huge! So we're here waiting for the tour to start with the Colosseum. It is so hot out there, so we're waiting in the shade at the moment, just trying to cool off. I have my water here. So hot. Like I honestly didn't expect it to be this big, it's so huge. Um, so there's like lots of um, construction work going on down there. I think that was where like the gladiators and the animals fought. I would have loved to see what it looked like a thousand years ago because you can probably tell now it's like fallen apart a lot. So yeah, I mean it's just amazing. So 
we finished our tour at the Coliseum. It was really interesting. It was cool to see it all. It looks so big. Like it's time to say that it's so big. Um, but I need a gelato, guys. And if I don't get one in the next like five minutes, I'm probably going to faint. So we're now on a mission to try and find the nearest gelato store. Okay, so we didn't quite make it to the gelato store yet, but we have something even better. Pizza. My pizza came. I am so hungry. I can't wait to eat I don't want to use a knife. Well, that was delicious. I'm ready to start exploring again because I'm all energized. So we just entered the Roman Forum many, many centuries ago. This used to be the center of Roman life. So now what we're going to do is explore some of the ruins. at some point in your history class. Well, he actually died here and was cremated behind here and his tomb is actually there. See, it's got like flowers on it and everything, coins. So that's actually really interesting because like, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys will pay attention in your history class and everything, but it's interesting to see that you, well, you've been talking about in class and you see it right in front of you. So many rocks. I wonder what this looks like before it's all destroyed. James's feet got so dusty at the Roman Forum that he has to clean them now. This guys, this is a monument built for the very first king of Italy or Rome, I'm not sure. His name was Victor Emmanuel and this is so big and it's also really nice. So I know it's very incredible. Give me Paris flashbacks. Really bad ones. Why do they have to be so many stairs? There's a really nice view up here from the city of Rome and there is one, two, three, four, five, six basilicas. So I think there's a lot of churches around here in the city of Rome, but I mean the view is just really nice. Well look at the flowers up there, they're telling you glad. I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. It's the way you make me feel so good. Finally, I got my gelato, well, sorbet technically. And I'm sure we sorbet here, and you can tell I'm a very happy girl right now. So the other day when I was in Monte Carlo, I thought that I was in the smallest country in the world, but this is actually the smallest country in the world, Vatican City. So you guys probably know this is where Pope is usually found. Um, and I can't seem to see him today, but um, usually when there's big events here, there's, oh, it's, this place is packed full of people. So it'd be um, cool to come here when like it's all filled, like when there's like an event or something. Um, but you can probably see that's um, St. Peter's Basilica, so we're gonna try and go inside and have a little tour of it. So we're in the St. Peter's Basilica now. This place is huge. I mean, look at all like, the detail and like the walls and the ceiling, it's amazing. You were only like a friend oh, Till we met the other day oh, Didn't want the night to end oh, So we're just about to enter 
the Vatican Museum, um, there's lots of different artworks and sculptures in there that have been collected over the past centuries. Um, and there's also the Sistine Chapel in there with the really famous artwork by Michelangelo. So I'm really excited to go in and look at everything. I think this is a real mummy. Wow. European soccer teams. He likes Manchester United, Barcelona, and Paris Saint Germain. And now that we're in Rome, he would like a Juventus top. And he loves Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know. I don't know my soccer, but yeah. So he wants me one of the tops. Yeah, I've been all around the world. Oh, every city, every place. Oh. Looks like we have our own mini Christian Ronaldo here. It's in a lemon, it looks so cool. So, yeah, I'm really hungry. I just can't wait to eat it. I love lemon sorbet, it's very refreshing. Yeah. So, if you guys know me really, really well, then you'd know I'd never be able to pass the Sephora store without even peeking in. So, I passed one here in Rome, and I'm obviously gonna go in, so no complaining. I really need to stop going to these Sephora stores. Guys, there are lots of cars and bikes around here, so if you're not careful, you might... Oh, there's another car. <laughs> yes, so if you're not careful around these streets, then you might turn into a pancake. Alright guys, my feet are so sore right now. I think we've done enough walking around and sightseeing for the day. So we're going to head back to the hotel, freshen up a little bit and get something to eat for dinner because I'm starving. So I'm feeling much more refreshed now and no longer hot and bothered. Um, I just had a shower and I'm all ready to go back out again. We have no idea where we're going to go for dinner. But we saw lots and lots of restaurants and everything outside of our hotel. So we're going to go for a little bit of a walk and hopefully we'll find somewhere nice to eat. The weather right now is really nice. Like I think it's like 28 degrees or something like that. But it's just like not too hot but it's also not too cold. So I almost wish it was like this when we're going sightseeing sight, sight and everything. Because it would have been a lot more enjoyable. I keep on trying to 
no one takes photos of them. They're cute horses. I've never seen horses walk around Rome like that. So we finally found somewhere to eat called Vicky. Um, but I don't know what to eat. There's so many things on this menu. Like, I'm not sure if I should have another pizza, although I already have one for lunch, or a steak. I'm gonna keep on looking. So, um, I just realized I forgot to show you guys that I have my main meal. I had a beef salad, it was so good. That's why I devoured it and I ate it all. So I apologize if I didn't get to see it, but I promise you it was really nice. So, um, I've done a lot of walking today and I think I deserve dessert as well. I'm still a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go inside and see what nice dessert they have. There are lots of desserts here. I don't know how I'm gonna choose. I keep on trying to pretend, still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. As my head of Hilma's back between the jars and bottle jug. Just look at all the ice cream flavors. Keep on driving and driving. I think I might get this one. So, I just got my apple and apricot jam um, tart, I think. It looks really nice. I also have some vanilla ice cream with it, so I cannot wait to try it. Mm. That's really good. It's my favorite. Okay. I think I've finished my dessert. I could have had a second one, that was really nice. Um, you can probably tell I did eat a little bit of food today, so I think it's time to go for a little bit of a walk so I can walk it all off. Okay, well that was a really long day here in Rome. We did a lot of different things. We saw a lot of different sights. We had a lot of gelato and we also have some really sore feet from all the walking around. Um, it's still really nice out here, I'm so surprised. I wish Melbourne could be like this at night. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.